following Bunny's Buddies on Instagram for about a year and a half. About a year ago, uh, two years ago maybe. I personally have followed Bunny's Buddies for years. Once I started following her on Instagram, there just wasn't any going back. <laughs> Their whole mission and the way that they care so deeply about dogs that are so far away is I can't think of like anywhere else that I would want to adopt from. There's just something really beautiful about restoring love and something that's broken. So we're excited to give love to someone who truly deserves it. Just the family of Bunny's Buddies, I just knew instantly that I wanted to be a part of it. Everything I saw just kind of tugged at my heartstrings and it just made me so emotional to see these dogs just treated like trash. I used to live in Asia, actually. It's where me and my fiance met. We saw firsthand a lot of the horrors of a dog's life in Asia um, and the dog meat trade. I just want to adopt as many as I can. I have become a part of this rescue family and it has forever changed my life. China Airlines right now. We're waiting for the 20 plus dogs to arrive here and we just found out that looks like they're going to be at Aero Mexico. A little bit of a change of plans. The dogs are not here. They'll be ready to go shortly so just like bring all of your stuff and like make sure you're ready when we get there. <laughs> It's been a long day, uh, much longer for the dogs than us, but we're all very, very excited. We hear the dogs barking at this point, so we're getting close to home, man. We're excited. buddies and we adopted our first dog buckwheat and I will never buy a dog again I will only adopt a dog and that's why we're here again What's going through your mind right now? <laughs> Just gratitude. Overwhelming emotion. Yeah. yeah. That we got to save one. Yeah. There's so much good in this world, and especially with everything going on, it's just great to like, have an organization that just cares so much. She loves you. <laughs> Our current rescue just, just changed my life, our life, and I wanted to be able to have that opportunity again. There's a bigger task at hand. I think we just saw this as an opportunity to provide a really loving home to this dog that hasn't potentially ever felt that before. Hey, what a good job! I don't think there's any other rescue organization that first off would rescue a 10 year old dog that has cancer and give them the care that they did give her. We saw Peaches a few months ago. Yeah. And she only has three legs or three paws, I should say. They cut off one of her paws and we fell in love with her. And we figured that we can make a great home for her. She's really just changed my perspective on adoption and rescuing. Everybody asks me, why would you get a dog from International? What are you doing? I'm like, because nobody does. And they need to be saved and they deserve a life just as much as all the dogs here. I applied and they proved me and I was through the moon when they gave me a yellow lab because my last dog was a pup lab and it broke my heart when he passed. So The change of location really threw us all for a loop and was something that we 
we didn't get to scout before, so when we got here, we really had to quickly game plan like what we were gonna do in a really tight parking lot with a lot of chucks and a very little grass. And luckily, it was all super smooth and all the babies are safe. They're in their cars, they're on their way home, and yeah, successful day. Lala has done so many things, I can't tell you. I mean, she has made me be an advocate every single day of my walking life from there on out because I believe in Amanda and what she does for the dogs. Lala, look up here.